Hello guys, welcome back. We are on the sixth episode of Stefan Small Talk. I am your host, Stefan Ravello, and we are broadcasting from Chicago, Illinois. Shout out to Humble Park. So in today's video, I want to talk about the power of LinkedIn and how it can be an effective tool for you regardless of what industry you're in. So I remember a year ago, I was having lunch at Giordano's Pizza with my uncle, Tio Jorge. Uh, he's a very successful salesman. So he works for a packaging company and he's done very well for himself. So I asked him at, at lunch, I was like, Tio Jorge, what is, the, what is your secret? What, what is it that, that works so well for you? Then he told me LinkedIn. So I thought, okay, I, I thought of it as an obvious answer at first, of course, yeah, use LinkedIn. But it was the next thing he told me that really caught my attention. He said, but when I post on LinkedIn, most, most of my content is not about my industry. And I was like, whoa, that was, I was taken back by that. So what do you mean? He goes, I post things that I like to talk about and things that I'm passionate about. And for him, it's work-life balance. He, he thinks it's very important and he loves to, to tell people just the importance of, of work-life balance. And he says most of the stuff that he posts about on LinkedIn is about that. And I was like, I, I always viewed LinkedIn as a, a platform to sell things. And I thought it was essentially like an ad or a commercial platform that you're just trying to sell your, your products or your services. And he said, he, that's, that's not what he used it for. Um, he used LinkedIn to talk about things that he liked. And just consistently posting on LinkedIn, that means your name is appearing on people's feeds every day and they constantly see you. They see Jorge Ravello, Jorge Ravello. They keep seeing him. They keep seeing his name pop up. He's not talking about his industry. They see his title and the company he works for, but he's just talking about work-life balance, work-life balance. And then he said when someone came, when someone had a packaging need, they didn't, need it. They didn't have it today, but let's say three, six months later, they needed packaging. They're, they remember going on LinkedIn. They keep seeing Jorge Ravello. He must know something that I don't know. So, and he said because of that, he has had most of his sales come to him now rather than him going out and seeking sales. So, he told me that a year ago. So, I started work with my with my company uh, in August, August 3rd. So, I said, let, let, let me give this a shot. So, I have been posting Every single morning. Uh, I've missed a few mornings. This week I've been a little slack. I only did like three posts this week. But for like three or four weeks, I was every day posting, posting. And I'm in the linen and uniform rental industry. I, I did talk about it at first. At first I was you know, promoting the, the, the service I was selling, just talking about it. And then I went off the grid. Uh, I love personal finance, you could tell. So I was talking about personal finance. I was talking about save, uh, investing, about paying off student debt, things that I like to talk about. So every day, every morning, when I open up my computer at work, it takes 10 minutes, guys, five minutes. Just a thought you have in your head, put it on, put it on your LinkedIn. So every morning, put it on LinkedIn. So this week at work, I was doing a sales training. And so we had a bunch of different corporate uh, corporate people come into the meetings just to give us their their insights or in their their selling techniques or whatever they were there to talk about. And I work for it. The company I work for is huge. Like we are a global company, twenty thousand plus employees. And I just started a couple months ago. And every single corporate person, oh wow, stuff on. Oh, I seen you on LinkedIn. It's nice to finally meet you. Or I had a, a woman in the marketing department tell me, oh, you're the guy behind the LinkedIn post. And like, I was like, yeah. I was like, wow. I was shocked people actually, I'm getting 10 likes on them. I'm not getting a lot that much engagement. But again, just showing up on people's feeds is is crucial. And it's it's not, obviously it's about what you talk about, but it's it's all about volume as well. If, if Through the volume, you'll find what works. But if you're not posting consistently, you don't know what is a good post, what's a bad post. I've had posts that done well. I've had posts that haven't done well. Um, but just the consistency of seeing my name, it it makes a huge impact. Like the fact that people in my corporate office have taken notice of me. Uh, I'm on the radar now. Something I thought was never even possible. I mean, I work for a big corporation. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna just be lost, be another number. 
Um, and my company does a great job of not making me feel that way, of course. But the fact that they know who I am, the fact that they refer to me as the LinkedIn guy, and like I said, most of my stuff is really not about my job. It's just about things that I like, the things I talk about here, and people are taking notice, and it's it's a great thing. So, whatever industry you're in. Whatever you want to talk about, if you want to be a producer, if you want to be a realtor, if you want to, if you sell furniture, if you're, a, if you promote, if you sell a exterminator business, whatever it is, LinkedIn it can, is a powerful tool, and you don't have to stay within your industry or stay in your lane. You don't have to talk about the things you like, talk about the things you know, uh, and don't be afraid to get a little unprofessional on LinkedIn like in the end of it guys we're all people we're all humans and yeah when you're when you're on LinkedIn compared to Facebook you're in a more professional mindset but that doesn't mean you have to talk about just your industry or try to sell something try to sell something down someone's throat like if you post 10 times on LinkedIn and this is stealing a page right out of the Gary V book but if you post 10 times on there nine posts should be about strictly giving value giving a take, giving insight, and then the 10th post, you can ask for a sale, whatever you sell or you promote, ask for, you can ask for something from your audience, but if you're constantly just asking and trying to sell, no one's going to want to follow your page, no one's going to want to engage with your content because all you're doing is trying to take, you got to give a lot of value, and one, not expect anything in return, but if you do give out a, a tons of value, it will come back, like, if you put good things into the world, it always comes back to you. And like that's just that's just a way of life. And that's just the way, yeah, that's just the way it goes. So if you're young, if you're old, if you want to sell more, if you want to increase your business, if you want to increase your personal brand, whatever the goal is, just post on LinkedIn or even on Twitter, on Instagram, on whatever avenue is best for your customer base, but consistently posting every day or five times a week, or just get on a, some sort of schedule, and it can make a it can make a huge difference. So I urge you guys to try it. I know plen- most of you guys, or plenty of you guys, probably won't, but to the one or two people that I can get to do it, please reach out to me. I want to know how your results went. And it's like I said, in the short three months for me, it's done amazing things. So uh, I highly encourage you guys to do so. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you got any value from it. Please drop a like, please subscribe, and until next time.